Hi everyone, John Nix here with your daily news fix for September 27, 2014. Yesterday I reported that Dearborn, Michigan has begun recognizing Sharia law and stated that I found it hard to believe this could even happen because our Constitution would take precedent over any other law. Well, I checked it out and it was based on a satirical article written by the National Report months ago. I promised that if I was ever wrong, I would admit it. Well, I was wrong. I have removed the story, but here's the full story from yesterday without the Dearborn hoax, and it's just as strong. The March of Islam is not contained in the Middle East or in the UK. The UK really has a problem, and they know it. The British Parliament has been abuzz with what to do. It has become apparent now that Islam is not, is not an ideology where it pays to be tolerant. The UK, in the UK, the su Subway stores, the chain, has just removed pork from its menu and offers halal foods to satisfy Muslim demands. 200 stores, I think, out of 1,500 are doing that now. Now, Muslims are demanding the same in Minnesota at some Subway chain stores in the, U in the U.S. And get this, in Minneapolis, a Somali-American community is demanding that food shelves offer non-pork products or non-pork foods and halal foods for their dietary restrictions. So there may not be a legal Sharia law system established in Dearborn, but it's easy to see the demands are beginning to test our fortitude and our own laws are being challenged. I mean, you get free food, but you want it the way you want it. You see, this is going to keep happening. This is all totally absurd. Follow our laws or get out. That's the message a Tasmanian senator clearly stated this past week. She said that supporters of Sharia law should pack their bags and get out of here. <laughs> Verbatim. Some Aussies are sidestepping this issue, but it's important that they tackle it now and in America as well. Apathy, ignorance, and the belief that we can tolerate a group of individuals that really wants to kill us is like pointing a loaded weapon at ourselves. It's about to really get out of control, and I hope you can see that. I just saw a story today where a young couple was trying to console an autistic two-year-old on a public transit bus in the UK by singing a popular theme song to a children's TV song, TV show. The song involves pig noises, so this Muslim woman uh, was apparently offended, confronted the young couple, got in their face yelling that they were irresponsible and racist parents for singing the Peppa the Pig song. So the bus driver intervened and let the couple off two miles from their stop. I guess because he just didn't know what else to do, huh? He should have put her off. This is our country. I'm mad as hell this is happening to my country or on my watch. I may not be here 50 years from now, but it's my job to leave it better than I found it for my children and grandchildren and my great-grandchildren. I agree with the Aussies. Follow our laws or get out. I have no tolerance for this at all. I hope this news fix makes you mad and you will stand up for what is right and what's coming to your community because you will be tested soon. We had a beheading two days ago on our soil in Oklahoma. So one more time, political correctness is going to get us killed. Never surrender your rights, never give up, never shut up and keep getting up. I'm John Nix and that was your news fix.